I'm Josh Noble and you may know me from my blogs and webinar series on SharePoint search found at surfray.com. You may also have run across my book Pro SharePoint 2010 Search. Recently I've been working on several projects that involve some of the maturing but previously unconventional uses of SharePoint. I've been seeing an increasing trend to use SharePoint on public facing sites and also to make sure that people have access to their content from anywhere where they're located. Uh, to access a system like SharePoint from mobile devices brings some really interesting challenges. How do you provide an interface where employees can quickly access their content but do it on a device that doesn't necessarily allow for advanced programs like Office or browser plugins like Silverlight. This is really a, an important question because I can almost guarantee that within the next year you'll be away from your computer when somebody calls you asking for something that could be located on your SharePoint portal. Even if this isn't in your core business model to use mobile devices on the road, you need to be able to make sure that you're ready to do so when cases like that arise. In many companies, the use of mobile devices to access SharePoint is becoming really a standard practice. I recently worked on a project with a financial accounting firm, and all of their field employees had uh, one of these guys right here. Um, and that's how they were accessing content from their SharePoint environment. Uh, all their field agents were able to instantly access SharePoint content from a really reliable mobile connection, rather than trying to access every one of their clients' mobile uh, or wireless networks when they went to different locations. I've also worked on projects where field engineers are trying to access manuals or AutoCAD diagrams uh, from their SharePoint uh, portals through tablets. In, a, in other cases, I've worked with uh, an ER to create a SharePoint based uh, search experience that allow physicians to quickly find and view patient records that are stored as scanned PDFs. Finally, I work on a lot of public facing SharePoint deployments where HTML and document preview would have uh, otherwise not been possible with any other solution than Ontolica. In all these cases, the ability to quickly search and preview documents was a really key experience in building out the component and making um, mobile SharePoint a usable experience. Ontolica Search and Preview from Surfray allows, you, allows these clients to quickly and securely find their content within SharePoint regardless of what device they're using or what file type they're trying to access. Unlike any other SharePoint document preview solution, Ontolica doesn't require end user plugins or uh, browser installs and things like Office or Silverlight that would be required on every other solution that's out there. For anyone using a document preview solution other than Ontolica, that puts a lot of limitations on how you can grow your SharePoint farm. You may not care about mobile devices today, but what happens in a year from now when your CEO gets a shiny new iPad and then asks you why he can't access uh, his uh, search center? Uh, those types of restrictions always have a way of you know, coming back to bite us. So the user experience in Ontolica is all based on JavaScript and .NET. So it doesn't matter if you're using an iPad, iPad uh, an Android phone, uh, or even my old uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 phone that could barely load up a web browser. On all those devices, you can use Ontolica and Ontolica Preview. So let's take a look at my iPad and, uh, and check out how it works on a device like this. We'll pull up a standard SharePoint 2010 demo environment here through my Safari browser. And this is just an out of the box uh, SharePoint 2010 demo site. Uh, nothing really special done to it, uh, except I've loaded Ontolica Search and Search Preview. So let's click on the Ontolica Search Center and go take a look at this. We'll enter a search term. Click Search. And we'll notice this is just a standard out of the box uh, Ontolica search and preview environment. Uh, nothing really customized has been done here. In fact, I'm not even seeing a couple of my, see, uh, my search features uh, such as related queries because I just uh, put this site together. So it hasn't had time to uh, learn uh, about my, my actions within the environment to provide search suggestions. But here you'll notice that you can actually scroll through and see a first page preview on any of your documents. 
So to, if I want to see this in a bit more usable format, I can actually click on the uh, first page preview and it'll provide me kind of a, uh, a half uh, blown up image. And then I can click it on, uh, click on it again and it will uh, blow up a uh, full document preview that I can actually read in a nice uh, high resolution. If you don't like this view, you could spin the iPad the other direction to get a full view and I can actually uh, zoom in here and get a nice uh, readable format that I can work with very quickly right on the fly. Let's pop out and we will notice that uh, that is actually a PDF that I'm working with. So that's something that FAST is not even capable of working with, for example. Let's say then that I don't want to just do a first page preview because I haven't seen the document before. Let's actually check the content within the document. Ontolica Preview will actually on the fly uh, check your search term, cross-reference it to the document, generate a full, uh, nice high-resolution preview of the entire document. We'll see that it actually notes the most relevant pages and even highlights my search term within the document. So if I want to, I can uh, take two fingers here and scroll through and see the entire document. Maybe I want to jump to a particularly relevant page, so I want to see what's on page 20 here because Ontolica is telling me that, that my search term is showing up very frequently here. I can actually jump straight to page 20 there. And again, it pulls up a nice, very high resolution preview, but this time it actually has hit highlighting on it because I've done that full document preview after entering a search term. So again, here I can scroll in, I can see a nice high resolution preview of it that I can read. And if I want to clear that out, I just click it again and it will disappear. The independence from client-side installs also has other benefits. It means that you can deploy SharePoint on your public-facing website and not force your visitors to install a plugin. Forcing your website visitors to install Silverlight, for example, isn't exactly the most attractive website feature. Let's take a look at how Ontolica Search and Search Preview works on a public-facing deployment of, uh, of SharePoint that you can actually access. And, and we'll do this on this, this time from uh, my Android-based phone here. And since this is a little smaller, I'll switch over to a screen capture so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. So now you should see a nice uh, high-resolution screen capture of my, uh, my little Android mobile phone here. And what I want to show is a site called isaka.org. That's I-S-A-C-A dot org. And Isaka has a Moss 2007 uh, public-facing SharePoint deployment with Ontolica Search and Search Preview on there. So it's a great little example where you can actually go out and experience this site on your own mobile device. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on Enter internet and pull up uh, Isaka's site here and I already have this uh, just preloaded in my browser and I am it looks like on the wrong uh, search scope I'm on conversations and I just want to jump over to site content and then I'm going to enter in a search to get to a search center so let's just search for something I know is going to pull back a bunch of results here we'll search for brochure there's a lot of items that are titled with the term brochure in this, uh, this site, so it's a great little example you can play around with. And this takes us to a nice Ontolica search and search preview uh, search center. Now, notice that we actually have refiners on this site, which is kind of interesting considering it's a Moss 2007 site. Uh, that's something that Ontolica search uh, implemented on this site. But here we're able to notice that I have all my uh, first page document previews, so I can click on one of those uh, those documents and pull that up if I'm not trying to copy it and uh, click on that document it'll pull up a nice high resolution first page preview that I can I can view right in my uh, my web browser there I can click that and I can go a step further I can do my full document preview I'm just gotta click on the on the right link you'll notice that this pulls up a full uh, document preview just like we looked on the iPad and again, just like the iPad, I can uh, start to share that image if I want. Uh, but uh, here, let's just click on that. And again, it will, we can pinch and pull up a nice full document preview right there in the browser. And uh, it's at a nice high resolution that I, I'd be able to read it. And I can do that on HTML if I wanted to, PDFs, uh, 
you name it, any type of documents that you might have in your environment. Uh, this particular site is not showing an HTML preview, and that was just a design choice uh, from their side. Uh, so uh, when you, if you test this out on your own, uh, your own phone, you will notice that some results have uh, previews coming back, some don't. It's just, uh, are, are you looking at a web page as a result, or are you looking at a document as a result? Uh, that's the only difference there. So let's hop out of uh, my Android device now. I also encourage you to check out uh, isaca.org uh, to see how Ontolica Search and Preview works on your own mobile device. I I'd always encourage you to download a trial uh, from surfray.com and check it out and find out how it works on your own SharePoint environment. Finally, if you have any questions about enhancing your search and document library experiences within SharePoint, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always more than happy to speak about uh, enhancing any version of SharePoint or uh, speaking about how Ontolica can help you uh, to customize and improve your own SharePoint environment.